Alright guys, welcome to your 13th XHTML and CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering something called a coal span. Now, whenever you make a table, you don't always want to make a perfect grid. You don't always want the same number of columns on every row. 3, 3, 3, 3. It gets boring and it's just not useful. So maybe you want to make a table that has one column at the top and two columns in the middle and maybe five columns at the end. So maybe you want to change it up a bit, but from what we know so far, we don't know how to do that. Well, this tutorial is going to show you how. So, for example, well, let me do this first. Let's go ahead and create a table so we have something to work with. And let's go ahead and make it four rows. Press tab, table row, table row. So let's copy this. And easy fingers, take it easy there. So now we have a table with four rows in it and might as well add our little border attribute so we don't get confused. Now in our first row, let's go ahead and add that main title across the top. So let's say for the rest of this table in these rows, let's go ahead and make it simple and only add two columns. But for this first one, we want a title big and centered and we want it to span across two columns. So there's only gonna be one piece of data in here but it's going to cover two columns worth of information so let's go ahead and make a table header because you know those are the pieces of data that stand out and let's go ahead and make a table about odd people and for our table header first and foremost we need to introduce the attribute called c-o-l-s-p-a-n and set this equal to two now coal span stands for column span and it says how many columns do you want to span this piece of data across well we want it to take up two columns so that's how you do that make coal span equal to and actually one other thing we can do while we're here is we can go ahead and make this a header three that will uh, make it a little bigger and bold as well so odd people is gonna be spanning across two columns it's gonna be bolded and centered so now in our second row Let's go ahead and add some data. Actually, let's go ahead and add two more headers. And let me just go ahead and copy this. So the first column is going to be the type of people I find odd. And the second column is going to be the reason I find them odd. So in our third row, let's go ahead and start populating the table with some data. So TD, TD and let's go ahead and copy this because I am way too lazy to type all that again and paste it so the first type of people that I find odd are cat people and the reason I find them odd let's just write um, something like seven cats is just too many because seriously people anything over like three then you're uh, you're kinda pushing the limit there so just take it easy and back off you don't need that many cats trust me they want the attention not company so Let's go ahead and uh, copy this right here and in our last row, paste this and let's find another type of people. Um, Let me think. Loud people. I find them odd. And the reason I find them odd is because let's put, sure, turn that music up. It's only 3 a.m. And make sure you spell music wrong and it looks good so we are good to go. Because, you know, at 3 a.m., really, do you need to be blaring your music as loud as you possibly can? That's just annoying. So, anyways, go ahead and save this and see what we got. Refresh it and check it out. The main odd people, you can see that this table basically consists of two columns. One, two. But this main one right here, we told it to coal span two, if you remember right there. So, what this did is it took this piece of data and expand it across two columns one column and two column and the rest of this was just stuff we learned before the table headers type and reason that's why they are bolded and centered and the table data which is this regular dumb old data is just plain old text left justified see this is pushed to the left everything's pushed to the left so that is how you make you know this is a pretty organized looking table it's a lot easier to read than you know if you didn't use coal span or didn't bold anything so anyways that's a useful table so if you ever are wondering hey I wonder what type of people Bucky finds odd 
you can go back to this and use it as a reference. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.